Hey everybody, today I got a new inflatable review to show you guys today. This is going to be on my very first Halloween 2024 inflatable, meaning that this is my first inflatable that I'm going to be doing a review on that's new for this year. And this is going to be on this 20 foot head turning cat that is being sold at the at home store for $209.99, so aka $210. Now this inflatable is definitely a different inflatable for sure. This is At Home's first 20 foot cat that they're selling for for their Halloween lineup. It's pretty cool. The head moves back and forth on this guy so it shows you on the box there that the head moves back and forth. Kind of blurry on camera but you can see it that there. It's 20 foot tall and it goes up to his tail. That's the part that's 20 foot tall, not the cat itself. You can see there's the dimensions there. It's got pretty large dimensions for this thing. Now this inflatable is not a Jemmy inflatable. It's not made by Air, Air Occasions or uh, a holiday company either. This is made by Rainbow Pine, which some of you may have heard before. They've made a couple of uh, different knockoff inflatables. But yeah, this is made by Rainbow Pine. Now uh, I'll show you the box real quick being sold at the at-home store obviously on the side here when you open the box up it's got the uh, typical contents there it actually also has an adapter which that is used to connect the LED lights that are inside of it to the motor because it has a separate plug-in for the LED lights so this inflatable unlike the BZB Goods uh, 20 foot cat with the the yellow claws and the green eyes this has got LED clipped LED lights instead of C7s and then it has a plug-in for those it uses a 0.5 amp adapter so I'm pretty sure a, Je a Jemmy a small cheap fan adapter might actually work on this thing which would be nice if it does I don't know if that theory is correct though but I'm pretty sure it would work so when you get it it comes with the instructions here these are the instructions as you can see it's made by a uh, Rainbow Pine there, Rainbow Pine products. It comes with a tie that holds the inflatable together when you first get it because this thing it's all scrunched up. And here's the stakes and tethers. The stakes and tethers are really good on this inflatable. It's got a lot of these thick white stakes that are really strong and I'd say they're really good. It's also got these, it's also got a me little metal stakes they go into the the, the fan over there which I'll show in a minute and it also has a bunch of these thicker tethers they're not like Jemmy Colossal tethers but they're a bit thicker than your average tethers um, I will say one thing about the box though this thing if you do get this if anyone gets this this thing is uh, really tight in the box and I had to I've actually had to tape the box up because it, it's that bad yeah, this, this thing has a really small box, so I really wish the box was bigger on it. But I'll actually tell a quick story about this inflatable before I, before I continue, because it actually involves the box. So this inflatable, I picked up, when I got this, I got this um, fr the Friday before this week. And that, and the issue with this was when I found this inflatable there was, it was the, this was the only one left and the box was already halfway ripped so I took it I ended up taking this since it was the only one there took it to the register and I asked if I could get a discount for it because the box was ripped and it was ripped pretty bad when I bought this thing luckily I got a discount on it though so the lady was nice enough to give me a 10% discount because the box was ripped it was a pretty funny story actually but yeah, I ended up getting this thing uh, less than retail, so it would have been 210 bucks. So I got it for like 20 bucks less. So it definitely helped with tax because with tax, this thing would have been like two, almost 230, maybe 230 with tax. So I only got this thing for like around 200 with tax, which is certainly a lot better. I think this thing's only worth 200 bucks in my opinion, but that's that. And then here's the back of the box. Show that real quick. Nothing, nothing too special. 
So let's go into this inflatable. Now this inflatable has the clipped LEDs, as you see there, instead of the C7s, like I said. It's got, from what I could tell, it's got 11 clipped LEDs. It's got four in the head, six in his body portion here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's also got one on, in the tail. So this thing actually has a light in the tail. Can't really see the clip on the camera, but it's like in the middle of his tail. Which is definitely an improvement for the tail because on the 20 foot cats with the head turning that we've seen so far, they, they have not had any lights in the tail. So I will give them props for that. Also the fabric is actually thicker than a normal uh, than your normal inflatable. This uses a fabric that's very similar to the Jemmy Colossal fabric and not the medium thick fabric like the at-home store 20 footers from Jemmy have. No, this has the this has the really thick fabric. It's not as thick as the Jemmy thick thick fabric, but it's pretty close. So I'd say the, the fabric quality is really good. There's the fan here. It has an AH4 motor which is a really good motor. Um, and for inflation, inflates pretty good. I will say it doesn't inflate as good as the uh, BZB Goods 20 foot head turning cap, but it inflates, still inflates pretty good. The reason I, I say that it doesn't inflate as good as the other one is because of the, the legs. Mainly the feet and the legs are bigger on this one. I wanna say, yeah, I'm pretty sure the feet and the legs are bigger. The legs might be the might be a similar diameter but the feet are definitely bigger on this inflatable which might explain why it doesn't inflate as well as it as the other one this is how it uh, inflates it doesn't inflate like it wants to explode but it inflates pretty good for tether attachments it's got one tether attachment on each foot on the outside part it doesn't have any on the inside and then on the body it's got three uh, on the body on each side one there one in the middle portion that you can't really see, and then one over there. Same thing for the other side, so it's basically got the, the tether tassels just like the BZB Goods 20 foot cat. Here's the face of the cat. This is what the face looks like on him. It's got four LEDs in the face too. So it's got one in each eye, one in the nose, and one in the mouth. Uh, you can see the mouse starting to light up now because it is getting darker out. It's pretty close to sunset, as you can see. But yeah, that's the mouth. It's got one LED in the head. I kind of wish it would have two LEDs in the head. Just so you can see, like, the mouth better. But I, it might be okay with just the one. It could definitely use one in the ears, which actually would be pretty funny if it did. But this one does not have uh, LEDs in the ears. But Rainbow Pine, if you're watching this video and you ever remake this, please put an LED in each ear, then you can really see his face. But yeah, with this cat, and with all the 20 foot cats, you can only really see their face in the dark, and not like their body. With the C7s on the BZB Goods cat, that does help it, because you can see, kind of see what the body is. On this one though, I'm not sure with the clipped LEDs. I'm really not sure, because they are bright, but I don't think they're like super duper bright. But I, I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. But there's the cat. That's what it looks like fully inflated. Um, my, it, the, the head motor on this does not have the giant black ring. It uses it uses something similar to a Jemmy's head turning motor. It's, it uses the larger one. Doesn't use like a small one. You can see that's what the cat looks like there. I'm trying to get a better angle of it, but you can get an idea for what this cat looks like. It's really big. Um, I can start to see the LED in the tail. You can, I can't really, you can't really tell on camera though, but I am starting to see the LED on the tail, which I think it would light up the tail okay. So maybe the LEDs wouldn't be as bad in the body, but I don't know for sure. But yeah, there's the cat's face. With the way the LEDs are, you can't really see the uh, the eyes that good because the LEDs are kind of like uh, making the uh, the eyes too bright on camera to really pick it up what it looks like on in person. But it looks pretty good. I want to say that. 
with these 20 foot cats in the dark you can only really see their face but yeah it's pretty good design you can see the lights the mouse lighting up more now because it's getting darker out that's what a that rough idea of what the what it looks like in the dark with the face but yeah, the LEDs are getting too bright on the, for the camera to pick up. But yeah, you can see that's what the eyes are supposed to look like there. And then there's the uh, head-turning motor. It is a little smaller than that black ring mechanism, like I said. But yeah, it uses uh, it uses something that's very similar to what you would find on a Jemmy inflatable that has this kind of ring motor. I, which I do think is better quality. But only time will tell. This thing does not have any zippers in the head, which I'm not very happy about. That's one thing I will complain about this thing. Besides the box is that it needs more than one zipper. Definitely needs one in the head like the BZB Goods Cat. The zipper here is located where my hand is there. It actually uses a metal zipper instead of a plastic one, which might actually be a little more durable. And if so, I'll give, um, I'll give him props for that. But yeah, the fan says uh, 2023, but on the cord it says uh, 2024. So, probably just a fan they had lying around and just reusing the fan. But yeah, I'll go back to showing you the cat once again. Just give me a minute, it's going to take me a... I've got to walk back quite a bit to really show this thing. There we go. So I'm back with the cat again. I will say that it's a pretty good inflatable for a rainbow pine inflatable. I think this is probably the best rainbow pine inflatable that they made so far. I am surprised uh, how good the quality is on this, especially with the fabric and the tethers. So I will think, I do think this thing will last in the displays for sure. Definitely a lot longer than the BZB Good Cat. Uh, the only thing I'm not so sure about is the head mechanism, but we'll, we'll see. I really wish this thing had another zipper, but uh, oh well. It, the only reason I'm complaining about the zipper part is because I know this thing is an absolute pain to put back in the box, and it takes a while for it to inflate because to, 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 to deflate because it inflates pretty good. But yeah, that's the cat. I think $210 is just a teeny tad expensive. I would prefer this to be like $200, but. What can you do? I probably rose the price by like $10 for this one specifically because of the head turning. But I don't know for sure. And, and now you can kind of see the LED in the tail. So, I think it will light up okay with the LEDs, with the black. Well, as well as it can because it has black fabric, but yeah. That's pretty much it for this new 20-foot cat. If you don't have this, I mean, if you don't have a 20-foot cat, I want to pick one up, but don't want to buy one online. Uh, I'd say this one would be a good alternative. It looks nice. It works pretty good. I so I think it would do pretty well if you want it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this cat. It's not a jemmy. It's a knockoff. So it works good. It looks good. So I think it's good. I'll give it a uh, I'll give it a seven out of ten for me personally. I just wish it had an extra zipper and the box was better. I think that's what would really make it great for me. But other than that, it's good overall and I like it a lot. So that's basically it for this 20 foot cat and thanks for watching.